Good afternoon. So this whole webcam thing still is very, very strange. I feel like when I was in high school, how you had to do a speech and it was like five minutes and you had to keep talking for five minutes. And if you didn't talk for five minutes, you got a failing grade or whatever. That's kind of what it feels like here. So I have to remind myself to slow down. But yesterday, yes, I did get my glasses and I'm very excited that I got them. I can finally see now what's going on. Uh, but some things have changed since 18 years ago when I got my last pair of glasses. Uh, here's the case that the glasses come in now. Uh, last time I got uh, my glasses, they came in a cloth case and it had a little clip on the back here. Uh, and it look, I don't know what the clip is for. Maybe you can put it on jeans or you can put it on your backpack or I don't know what, it, I don't know. But now they give it in a hard um, case and in the inside it's padded almost with like this felt uh, padding. So it really is nice and because I travel a lot for work the glasses are not going to bend or break in this like they did last time. So here are the glasses. I like them so much better. And the reason why I got this uh, specific style is that I am a big Heroes fan and one of the characters in Heroes is the man with the horned rimmed glasses. So when I went to get uh, my pair of glasses I tried to keep my eyes open for you know a style that was similar to that. They didn't have any black ones which I don't know if I want black ones anyway but they had these and they are, were originally like 180 bucks just for the rims but because they were discontinued I got them for 60 which is even better. Um, that's just the rims. Uh, my my prescription is really, really bad. In my left eye, it's like negative 10.5, and in my right eye, it's negative 11.5. So essentially, I'm pretty much blind without contacts or glasses. But now that I have glasses to wear, I don't have to wear my contacts all the time. But here's what I look like with them. And right now, I have my contacts on, so everything is incredibly blurry, and I feel like I'm cross-eyed. But without my contacts, they are super fantastic. Though I forgot that when you wear glasses, especially with a prescription this this bad, things are really, really small. And when I went out the door to start walking, my feet looked much further away than what they really are. And really everything looked like it was a sphere. So it looked like I was walking downhill the whole time. And because these are such a smaller lens. Um, I have to look through them pretty much directly in the middle um, because if I look to the left or to the right it's even blurry there because of the thickness. So I may have to go in this week and see if that really is uh, just a problem that I'm going to have to deal with or if it can be fixed. Maybe they made them wrong. Who knows. Uh, so I'm going to check on that this week. But, uh, but, but things really do look small. We went to the store yesterday to buy some chips and some dips uh, for a party that we were having last night. Well, not really a party. It was a get-together. We had about four or five friends over last night to play Guitar Hero 3, and we stayed up, what, from 7 to like midnight playing it. It's really addictive. But, back to the chips and dip. So, we get uh, sour cream, which is what we usually get, and then a Lipton has this cardboard. It's a, it's a box, and it has two sleeves of Lipton onion mix. And you pour the onion mix into the cream or the sour cream, and you stir it all up, and it's really fantastic. It, it's so much better than just ranch, and I think it even is cheaper. All right, so I'm back, and something happened um, with the connection there, where it didn't record everything I was saying. But uh, this afternoon or this evening, we went to see a friend who is about 60 miles away, and had a really good time there. And then on the way back, we do this every time we go. We stop by Dairy Queen. In Seattle, they don't have Dairy Queens anywhere near the city, so we have to go, you know, a ways out, 30, 45 minutes away. And not that I go to Dairy Queen all the time, or that I really care to go to Dairy Queen all the time, but whenever we go on to a road trip, we have to stop at Dairy Queen and get a blizzard. No matter what, it t what time it is, no matter where we are, it's blizzard time. So what I got this time was their waffle cone blizzard, and it, it's a vanilla ice cream. And then it has bits of waffle cone in it, and then it has like this caramel thick syrup uh, throughout it, and then it has uh, chocolate chunks. Fantastic. Usually I get that when it's available, my favorite so far, um, but love it, love it, love it. So that's it for tonight. I'm going to sign off here, and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.